Now at 5.30, money paid by companies accused of getting people hooked on opioids is now being used to get those victims help. But what happens with the money, right? NBC 10's Aaron Coogan live in Pawtucket, where the city explained how it will spend millions from a court-ordered settlement. Well, in 2022, 436 Rhode Islanders lost their lives to overdose. 35 of those people lived right here in Pawtucket. The Rhode Island Attorney General's Office joined with other states two years ago to secure tens of millions of dollars from opioid manufacturers, distributors, and consultants. Money that must be used for treatment, prevention, and recovery. Collectively, whether you're a pharmacy distributor, whether you're a manufacturer of opioids, you're responsible for the wreckage that the opioid epidemic has caused. 80% of the settlement money is allocated to the state's Executive Office of Health and Human Services, with the remaining 20% to be distributed throughout the ocean state, with each city and town able to determine how best to spend the money. Money is awarded based on population. The city of Pawtucket will receive $1.7 million to share with community providers in the line of health and harm reduction. Pawtucket is considered a high burden community where there are higher rates of fatal and non-fatal overdoses in the state. This funding opportunity is a critical resource to support treatment, recovery, harm reduction and other life-saving programs in the city. This month, organizers and health care providers can apply through the mayor's office to get some of that money into their programs. They need to ensure that these dollars are used, used properly, used effectively, used efficiently in our community. Grant applications are due to the city on April 2nd, with awards announced on April 24th. Now, this is just the first phase of grant funding, with the city's $1.7 million to be released over the next 14 years. In Pawtucket, Aaron Coogan, NBC 10 News.